it continues. 25 examples he gives in 27 verses, apart from what he has said of the world, of the, of the mythological things in the worldly things, in order to drive home to the student that he is the noblest and the precious thing in all things. Gandharvanam Chitraratha. Gandharvas are the dancers and singers in heaven. That is to say, great artists, when they die, Coffin and others, they go to that <laughs> special place. It's called a um, a colony of artists only. They have got a different world because others cannot understand them. They will think that he is crazy, mad. Artists are like that. So it is better to segregate them from the world outside. So other angels are not to be molested by these artists and therefore they are being given a special place. That uh, area and that people are called Gandharva Nagare, Gandharvas. All these various Gandharvas, Chitraratha is the star. Hollywood. <laughs> so then, just as here in the world we call it as Hollywood, there it is a holy place called Gandharva Nagara. And there the greatest artist is Chitraratha. And therefore, I am Chitradatha, among the artists of the heavens. Siddhanam Kapilo Muni. Siddhanam of all the Siddha Purushas, great people. I am Kapila Muni. That word Muni. Manana Shilavan Muni. Muni is not an individual who has got daddy, I mean beards and hair and then a uh, uh, bony carcass and never eats anything and sits under a tree. This is the picturization of a Muni in our Puranas. So a Hindu in that Hindu tradition, he immediately jumps at, it, at the understanding that Muni is the one who sits under the tree. <laughs> a great thinker. Among the thinkers, I am Kapila. Kapila is the author of the Sankhin philosophy. All the six schools of philosophy in Hinduism, Sankhin philosophy, the most logical, highly intellectual, and there is a method of analysis by which they come to the conclusion. This Sankhin philosophy is the main bulwark upon which the Gita stands. Gita is implicitly following the conclusions arrived at by the Sankhin philosophy and therefore among the thinkers I consider myself to be Kapila. Kapila Rishi is the one who is the greatest thinker. He was living in Siddhabadi yeah. with his mother. <coughs> That is where Chinmaya Mission has got his great ashram, no mind. <laughs> of all the great thinkers, I am Kapila. I am the noblest, the highest, the subtlest. 